Hey there everyone, just wanted to do a quick little walkthrough about how I set up my latest Unreal Engine and Ableton Reactive Visualizer. So basically, I figured I would start off by talking about where I source the assets, mainly consisting of the environment, the props, and the blueprints. Basically everything that you kind of need to make up a Reactive Visualizer using Unreal and Ableton. So, for this particular case, I got it from a recent Humble Bundle pack. Then, when it comes to, say, the props, such as all the gore assets found within this environment, that was acquired from a creator on ArtStation. Meanwhile, a bunch of the Niagara effects that are used throughout the visualizer, such as the blood spikes, are from the Epic Marketplace. So basically, I like to approach things like this via a kit bashing approach. So I like sourcing my assets from as many locations as humanly possible. Now, when it comes to the blueprints that I use to help get this whole thing set up, that all comes from a YouTube channel called the Sam and Tris AV Club. They have a bunch of awesome tutorials on their page, and if you go on their Patreon account, you can pick up these blueprints which not only help link things up with the Ableton session, but also give you the Max for Live devices you need to send the MIDI into OS data for Unreal. So, definitely check out their stuff, because that's what helped get me up and running. But just to show a quick example of how one of those devices works, I have this meatball here, basically set up with an envelope follower, on the bass track for this uh, particular song. So basically to get started you have to come up here make sure you're on selected viewport mode go into play and then once we come over here into Ableton and then start our track you can see that the, the bass line is basically driving the animation regarding the scale of the meatball. Then over here on the left side of the screen, you can see that this is all the envelope data coming out of Ableton and then into Unreal. So, if we go back to Ableton here, we can see that this envelope object, or Max for Live device, is set to track 9 with a release of 50 milliseconds. And when you hit play, you can see that the data is being generated down here from it's a range of 0 to 1. That data can then basically be rescaled once in Unreal Engine and then can be used to control really whatever. This is mainly what the blueprint for this particular effect consists of. Basically, whether it be controlling an object with envelope data or just using like MIDI trigger data to set off certain particular Niagara effects, cascade effects, triggering lights to come on and off. It all really depends on what you want in your particular scene. One other aspect of this setup is the camera switcher, which in this particular use case I have set to track 16. So once in the Unreal session, I basically have 12 different cine camera actors set up all around and then once all of that is placed in the scene going back to the Cementris AV Club they have a blueprint router which you can drop into your scene and then basically select all the different cameras you want then every camera on that array that you have is assigned to a particular MIDI note in Ableton so as this session continues to play out We'll switch from, say, camera 11 back to camera 5, to camera 11, to camera 7, and so on and so forth, however you wish to program it. But yeah, that basically covers the quick gist of how I have this particular Ableton to Unreal reactive AV session set up. If anyone happens to have any questions, please feel free to ask, and I'm happy to answer whatever I can. Thanks.